Welcome, 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 man. Last Saint is back in business. Well, Last Saint is dead, man. We're gonna call it Redeem Sports Talk, man. Redeem Saints, man. Come on. Now I haven't been I haven't been posting. I've been posting videos, but just the stuff unrelated to Saints Talk, man. I got burnt out. As y'all can see, I do a video every few months at a time, every other month, or every couple weeks. You know, I had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. You know, as you can see, you know, I was beefing with a lot of Saints creators or fans and stuff like that, and that's not what I wanted to do, even originally. So, apologies to anyone I offended, anyone that got upset, you know, any, any and everything. You know what I'm saying? This is a brand new channel. Well, not a brand new, well, yeah, it's a brand new channel. You know, a brand new way of going about things, and that's it, that's all, man. But yeah, you know, it's, it's a different, it's a different time. You know what I'm saying? A very, very different time. Now, you gotta talk about this Saints game, man. Saints are currently two and one. And man, did the New Orleans Saints choke. <laughs> The New Orleans Saints choked, man. I could see it coming. You know, when we were up 17 to zero, uh, and in that second half, I just felt like the game's not over yet, man. This season, it's this season with 17 games is gonna be a lot harder than you know past seasons if we're gonna keep it all the way 100. Um, Derek Carr, Derek Carr is wishy-washy, bro. Now I understand, I understand these things that you know Derek Carr. This is his first year starting with a brand new team brand new organization you know same coach but a different man it's just a lot of different things going on and saints fans got to understand that you know and Derek carr was holding the ball too long man you know and i know we want to you want a quarterback to be able to hold the ball to try to get a throw try to get something caught but Man, he was just holding that ball too long, and the, and the problem a lot of Saints fans had with that is that the offensive line is it sucks, man. Offensive line has, has been bad for these past few years, and we're gonna be all the way 100. It's been really bad. Now I know Drew Brees has had a lot of high-scoring offenses and stuff like that, but it was pretty abysmal. You know, Derek Carr got sacked like what three or four times today. That's how many times he got sacked. And it was just bad. Derek Carr got himself injured. Well, you can put the blame on him for holding the ball too long. You got to put the blame on the offensive line for not being able to hold. The main point of you being a tackle, guard, or center is to hold the line. And these guys were getting beat. You know, especially especially our left tackle, man. He was getting, he was just getting mollywhopped. Now, you can say that, oh, you know, this is his... <laughs> This is his second year, but you can essentially say this is his rookie season because he was injured the last one. But he was just playing awful, man. There's been left tackles or tackles in general that start their rookie game and absolutely demolish the edge runners, the defense ends. But he just played absolutely abysmal. He's had good spots in the game, but overall he's just been playing like absolute garbage. You know, the wide receivers, you know, Michael Thomas was pretty much – he made passes and he made catches and stuff like that. I mean, this is his first season coming back too. You know, it's just a lot of kinks and stuff going on. The Saints are two and one, and I know a lot of people are freaking out because we lost. And under you got two, you got two sides of the fence when it comes to this loss. One, Saints fans overreacting and panicking, which happens a lot. Or two, Saints fans seeing into the future of how the season can be if the play is is still like this. You know what I'm saying? The Saints defense is elite. They've kept us in the game time and time and time again. But, man, when Derek Carr went out and Jameis Winston came in, it just got horrible. Now, I'm not going to – well, it is – It's look, you can't you can't be like, oh, it's that person's fault or it's that person's fault. No, everybody's got to take the blame because it's a, it's, a, it's a team effort. And I'm not, you know, putting Jameis Winston down or anything like that. But, man – Jameis Winston was, uh, you can tell he was playing bad because, like I said, this is his first time coming into the game for a long time. You know what I mean? 
this is his first time coming in into the game. You know, he's he's been a backup. You know, he's not getting the, the starting uh, position and stuff like that. You know, I'm pretty sure he's training with the ones and all that because he is the number two guy. But holy, bro, like he was, uh, <laughs> he made good passes. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say he didn't. You know, I don't hate Jameis Winston like a lot of people thought I did when they had the whole Taysom Hill QB battle and stuff. But you can definitely tell that man, he was not. Yeah, he was, he was missing some stuff. A lot like Derek Carr, man. Derek Carr is missing a lot of passes, bro. And you gotta, and at the end of the day, you kind of gotta blame the defense for us losing this game. You know, the defense was playing like world beaters for the first three quarters, and you know how a defense gets when they're constantly on the field. You know, they start losing um, that energy, man. They, they lose the energy to play the game. They're worn out. You know, the pace is dictated by the offense, as known. But man, sheesh, this Saints team, bro. <laughs> It's just one loss, and I know a lot of people, like I said earlier, are upset. You know, we don't got the perfect record, but this is going to be a hard season for every team. This is a 17. This is a 17 game season. You know, a lot of teams are going to get injured. The Saints team is going to get injured, unfortunately, but it's true. We don't know how long Derek Carr is out for. Hopefully, it wasn't a concussion or anything like that. But, you know, if Jameis Winston has to start, I believe in him. You know, he he played he played he played a D. He had a D minus game, if I'm gonna be honest. But man, the wide receivers they just gave up too. They were running wrong routes. Like I said, everyone played bad. Everyone played badly, bro. Everyone played bad badly, excuse me. And you know, this team's got a lot of stuff they gotta figure out, man. The defense, defense got nothing to worry about. This defense on fire. Now, Alante Taylor, man, MVP of the game. Um, dang, there's this other guy on the defensive line. I forgot his name. You know, a lot of y'all have been paying attention during the offseason. Me, I have not. I have not been paying attention. I, my thing was, you know, don't think about it, and the game will come soon. And that's what happened. The NFL season came before our very eyes. But, yeah, Alante Taylor was the uh, defensive MVP of the game. And this other guy that got extended yesterday, the defensive lineman who was making tackles, sacks, doing it all. You guys can put it in the comments. He was the player of the game, too. But like how it goes, man, nobody remembers your past. They're only worried about what you're doing now. Every, that's, what, that's how it is. Your accolades, the, the way you play. Nobody's worried about that. They're only thinking about what you can give them now. And although Alante Taylor was making all these pass breakups when Jordan Love and the offense coordinator was trying him, you know, he was making all these pass breakups, stopping this and that. He he started to he started to play bad near the very end, man. You know, two free. What well, it was sixty. It was two uh, play sixty yard uh, pass interferences that absolutely gutted the secondary causing an easy TD bro easy TD you know and then you know another fourth down the Saints were stopped before they I think I think the uh, Packers attempted two they attempted three fourth downs Saints stopped two of them and it wasn't because of the defense it was because of um, bad execution great play calling bad execution on the uh, Packers side and, you know, the Saints defense got worn down, man. There was a fourth down on the goal line. The damn, what's it called? Fourth down on the goal line. Jordan Love keeps the ball. And what's it, what's it called? Demario Davis gets absolutely juked out his socks, yo. Absolutely juked. But, man, it was sucked. It was terrible that we lost. You know, I didn't really... I didn't really, I mean, I cared, but it didn't hurt me. You know what I'm saying? It didn't ruin my day. You know, it didn't make me say, oh, this team is garbage. I saw a lot of fans say that, oh, man, Jameis Winston sucked. You know, Jameis Winston, uh, he wasn't all he wasn't all that. But, you know, if he, if he, if Derek Carr is out for a few weeks or a week due to concussion, uh, Jameis Winston can definitely get us back to, uh, he can put us on that three and one.
you know, he can definitely give us the three and one. So, you know, that's it. That's all, man. Saints fans, don't lose your freaking minds. You know, the season just started. Just started. So calm yourselves, man. Calm yourselves. And let's get it.